Alabama is a whole different ball game. Now, most of the time you set up on green fields or some type of isolated or concentrated food source, maybe like a white oak tree. Here we're on a manicured food plot, but instead of sitting in a traditional shooting house, we had to abandon it. Why? Well, the wind switched. So instead of just throwing up a climber, we built a ground blind. And this ground blind actually has a slight rise where we're at. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go prone and use a sniper position. You don't always have to follow tradition, even though your hunting buddies might, your friends, your partners, they might have different ideas. Go out of the box once in a while. It might just be the answer to your next whitetail buck. Now, am I going to get a buck? Well, that's an answer. You're going to have to wait and see. I can hear you snickering out there. Yeah, I didn't get a buck in Alabama, but it wasn't because I didn't try, and it specifically wasn't because the bucks weren't there. There are some big bucks in Alabama. I found this out. Now, I have never been a big fan of hunting south of the Mason-Dixon line, but this experience was everything I needed to change my mind. I hunted with Westervelt Wildlife Services, specifically the Two Rivers Hunt Club, and Ryan Basinger was my hunting partner down there. Ryan is a wildlife biologist and a consulting manager for Westervelt Properties. You can hook up with him or any of the folks at Westervelt and start your own hunting club if they have the land available. But what I found is if you put a true quality deer management program into place with nutrition, refuge, light hunting, all of the key ingredients, and of course, a solid program to only shoot mature deer, you can grow some big deer down south. Now, if you want to check out my blog later on North American Hunter, huntingclub.com, I'll have some trail camera pictures of some real bruisers from Alabama that will open your eyes. But here is one thing that I discovered. Quality deer management. If you have any, any questions about it, go to the Quality Deer Management Association, qdma.org. They'll hook you up with everything you need to know, and you can even network with folks in your part of the country, like down south or up in the winter wonderland where I live of the north. Don't forget the south has good deer hunting, and don't question if you're going to get a big buck there. I saw him. My partner Ryan Basinger shot a four-and-a-half-year-old, a mature buck. It wasn't a giant, but it was as savvy as any deer anywhere in whitetail country.